Hi, my name is Dia, and today I'm going to teach you about the life cycle of a ladybug. If you're wondering, well, how is that different from other types of insects? Well, some insects usually have three stages, well, but this insect has four. It also goes to a metamorphosis. A metamorphosis is a change. So let's see how that change is going to work. It all starts out as um, little eggs. When the mommy lays them, they usually lay a lot. Wow, that is a lot of eggs, Dia. Well, it is true that a mommy ladybug will lay a lot of eggs. But did you know that a daddy ladybug will watch over them while the mommy ladybug is going to get some more food to make itself grow more eggs? No, I do not know that. Now, we're going to go to the second stage because we've already gone over the first stage. After three or seven days, it will start hatching and the daddy ladybug will go. It, it will kind of look like this. It will have a head and a little body or something, but it's not like a caterpillar. It actually has spikes to keep it away and protected by predators. It'll start eating insects, and this stage will be here for like about one month. This is the longest stage, really. It'll start shedding a few times, but at the really last shed, it will start hiding in a cocoon. In the inside, it is actually ready for a big transformation. Most ladybugs do this at the springtime. Why do ladybugs go in a cocoon like butterflies? Well, it is in a metamorphosis, as I said, and butterflies also go through a metamorphosis. So that's why it also has to go to a cocoon to change it in, in the inside. Inside of this cocoon, it is actually changing, ready to go to its adult stage, which is the fourth stage. So let's get ready to draw the fourth stage. This is how, this is how the ladybug looks like when it's popped up of the cocoon. Why does it, the ladybug look orange? But in real life, this will be yellow and orange and black, and this will be yellow. So, that is why. But over time, its skin color will, will shred and become a red. A really, 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 really bright red. Why does the ladybug shred its skin? Can't it just stay open? Do you want to see a ladybug orange? Mm-hmm. Red's a better color. And besides, how would you know it would be adult? That was actually the young adult stage. It's kind of like a mix between it. So it's kind of four, five stages. I've heard about a rumor that the spots about the ladybug tells how old it is. But that rumor is absolutely wrong. The, the real true statement is the spots on ladybug determine its species. There's over 5,000 types of ladybugs. Real a lot. I don't think you knew that. <gasps> 5,000 species? Yes, there is a lot, a lot of ladybugs. There might be some undiscovered. Why can't you tell which is which? By the color. They have different colors? Yeah, some are yellow, some are black, some are green, I think. Then why do I only see adult ladybugs that are red? Well, because mo because most ladybugs are have to survive with different adaptations. So I think the my hypothesis is that the red ladybug is usually what you see because it's better it's better to survive. But over time, after like about five or four months, before it dies, it will it will grow new legs. It will make babies, and the process will start all over again. I hope you now know that ladybugs are more amazing than you think they are, and the life cycle is one of amazing reason how they are. I hope you liked my video. See you again soon. Bye bye. Bye.